I do apologise if you can hear the fan sound, it's because a laptop is literally acting up right now. But yeah, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you for stopping by. So today is the 11th of June and it's a Friday and you guys know from the setup I am currently working at the moment. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be nice to do a vlog style video as always when it comes to my Japanese manga hauls. I tend to do like a vlog style video as I feel like I can connect to you guys a lot more and be able to like update you guys guys how i've been doing and that stuff but yeah look at my bookcase boy ain't that it looks so good like it just like it gives the room a bit of a oomph you know it makes it look so much nicer but i'm glad like um my manga has a home now to sit in and that stuff if you guys haven't checked out my manga bookcase vlog go check out i'll add a link wherever it is like the card i think it's this side or this side i don't really remember but um yeah i hope you guys are doing well but yeah i've said in my previous videos that i will update you guys like in this video of like the direction of this channel as a lot of you guys know i'm going back to university i'm finishing my internship the end of this month so um yeah there's a lot to update um with my collecting journey but one second i have a few things that i need to do but yeah i think i'll carry on my conversation once i finish this task i hope you guys don't mind this angle as um i thought it would be nicer to sit here and just chat to you guys i feel like it'll be a lot more easier and also you can see a bit of my bookcase but yeah by the way these manga right now they're not in any specific order i will be doing an organization video once i come back but yeah this is another update i will be gone for a month i'll be in london again so i'm trying to do a marathon with my filming so you guys will have a video every um week so um yeah currently i have a lot of my hauls to film like you can see i have some packages here and also below and that stuff and um i'm really excited to show you guys what i got recently i recently got the kira box set and some manga that i've been loving loads and i also want to update you guys like my wrap up as well as I have read some awesome manga recently as well. But yeah, this vlog is mainly showing you my Japanese manga haul and also update you guys, you know, the typical chit chat I like to do. But yeah, I think this um, Japanese manga haul, I actually bought from this seller recently, I think. I think it's the same seller that I got uh, my Honey X Honey Drops, if you guys can see, and we were there. So going back on to the chit chat. So what I wanted to update you guys is the channel direction once I go back to uni as, of course, once I go back to university I won't be able to have much time to like talk to you guys make videos and also I won't have the money to do the hauls as um I think a lot of you guys probably noticed recently I've been buying a lot of manga that's hence the manga hauls as I know once I go back to uni in September I will be a broke student again so um yeah as I won't be earning a salary no more so that means no income no revenue so um yeah I don't know what to do as I have a lot of ongoing series at the moment in my collection and I'm not too sure how I'm going to stay up to date unless I dig into my savings, you know, and start um, using that to complete my ongoing series. But yeah, I feel like everyone's collecting journey is very different. Like personally, if you've been following this channel from the beginning, you would have known that I collected manga from 2016 however i only collected within that year and a bit of 2017 and then i was on a collecting hiatus for a good three or four years until i started collecting manga again and that's when i created the channel and because i created this channel i was able to talk to you guys and you guys has helped me with my collecting like addiction as well and also my uh, collecting journey so before i had this channel my collection was about 300 volumes and now within the space of i think october to now june my collection has doubled so right now i have about 650 volumes plus in my collection which I can't believe but yeah that just shows everyone's collecting journey is very different like from my experience mine is like very rapid growth if that makes sense like with 2016 to 2017 I picked up like 300 volumes and within the space of 2020 to 2021 now I've picked up 300 and something volumes as well so um i do pick up a lot of manga when i can when i have some money you know um like i said since i'm in an internship i do earn a salary and that salary basically goes towards my hobbies my bills and that stuff but once i go back to uni i 
there will be no job the job doesn't even exist all i'll be doing is basically stuck to my desk make sure i complete my degree make sure i get a good grade as well and that stuff and of course once i graduate hopefully if god is willing i'll get a good um job or graduate job and i'll be earning my salary again so i can continue with this hobby but yeah this hobby is definitely a very expensive one and it makes me sad to think that i have to put it on a pause since how this like channel is going how my collection journey is going i feel like i will be picking up my ongoing series volumes however i will do it at a much slower pace compared to now so um yeah i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do but my plan is to keep on buying manga when i can and send it to this house and when I come back from uni and come home to here, like every quarter I'll say, I'll do a big manga haul so you can see my collected manga haul and that stuff. And since I've bought so much manga recently, I think I might take a lot of them with me to uni so I can read them and update you guys and give you guys reviews. So um, yeah, right now I'm unsure where this channel is going towards to, but I really hope you guys stick along with me and continue to enjoy the content that I produce and that stuff. But yeah, let me know down below if you have any suggestions that you want to see from this channel. But I have a few ideas that I want to do. Um, I might go into live streaming in the future. I think that will be fun as that will be a nice way for me to stay connected with you guys um, and that stuff. Some people have recommended me to uh, like make a Discord, but I'm very bad with new technology and new apps. Like I, I still don't understand Discord. I've joined um, a few Discords like East Coast Manga and Manga time on discord but i still don't i don't understand the concept i know people go on there to chat but um yeah i have no idea but i'm just just checking the time to see when i have my next meeting okay i still have time um but what was I saying? So my channel, yeah, just comment down below if you have any video suggestions as I like to do a few videos like rating your collections and that stuff. I feel like those videos will be very fun to film and add to the channel, hence why I haven't filmed any of them at all as I would like to save those type of video ideas in the future when I go back to uni when I have like a limited amount of video ideas that i can film since i won't have my bookcase so i can't do collection videos um and i won't be buying as much manga even though i won't be buying physical manga on a monthly basis like i'm doing now i will be reading more digitally so i will be purchasing my manga digitally as that will save a lot of space as well and save the hassle of moving my manga from uni back home and that stuff because i definitely won't be taking my collection to uni with me as i only will be in uni for a year and i will be coming back and forth and that's Stuff. so hopefully whilst i come back i'll be able to do my quarter hauls for you guys so that is the plan but um yeah the main problem is me not being financially stable once i go back to uni as i will be going back to being a broke student and um yeah the budgeting is going to be mad yeah going back to uni is going to be mad especially with the finances and the budgeting because i remember when i went to uni in first year and second year both years i was living off basically about just two grand and a bit so that's two thousand pounds and you know when i buy manga it is way more than that price so um yeah that's crazy i don't know how i survived with only just like two grand and a bit with food expenses and that stuff and enough money to go to a club and like my entertainment and that stuff but um yeah definitely it just shows this hobby is very very expensive and that um i do use most of my salary towards this hobby as well but um yeah I, I just need to start saving in it but yeah that's just a bit of my reality that i'm just sharing with you all as i don't want anyone to feel disheartened with their collecting journey because everyone is very different like i said with this hobby it is a very expensive hobby so i feel like it's a good way for you guys to like branch out and find other options in a way to grow your collection and also pick up series that you genuinely love like i said it is kind of like an investment to me manga is an investment to my happiness so for me personally i can put x amount of value to spend on manga because i know it will make me happy and i won't feel guilty however i will feel guilty if i picked up a shit series you know that makes me feel like crap or not makes me feel like crap how should i say it? it makes me feel guilty in a way that i'm like why did i pick this up 
this wasted a lot of my time you know um those series that yeah that's when i get disappointed however most of my series that i've picked up in my collection are series that i personally love and enjoy so i'm pretty sure you guys had enough of my babbling but i have about 15 minutes left until my next meeting and i feel like i should unbox this parcel right now and show you guys a few volumes at least and then come back to finish the rest of this haul so in this parcel there's about over 40 volumes i believe so um i picked up um a few series so i picked up coffee and vanilla and also gto um gto is actually a series that i always wanted to collect in english however you guys know it is a very out of print series as it was first published by tokyo pop and then also another series by the same manga as gto and the name of that series um is called adesugata junjo boy and that is like um i think it's a gender bend series but yeah i'm gonna start unboxing this parcel so yeah this is actually quite a hefty parcel let me lift it up and show you guys it's actually yeah it's very big and i can't believe i didn't get um charged customs as well um so far with all my japanese manga hauls i haven't been charged any customs which is very fortunate as i know i'll be racking up with the money with that one cool so the box basically is like a shoe box where you can lift like that i thought i need to cut the middle but um so oh, look how nicely packed this is this looks like a gift package what the f what what nah i need to show you guys again look at that oh my god it looks so good sorry it just feels like i'm, I'm getting a like, christmas present or a birthday present it just looks so nicely wrapped i can't believe how nicely packaged this is like definitely this seller is very very lovely um i'll try to link her or um her account down below if not just message me on instagram as a lot of you guys have asked me about my japanese manga hauls like what sellers i go for to be honest i don't even know what sellers i buy from to be honest as i just put in the japanese manga name or the name of the manga title onto ebay and i just find the best one with the best price and also the ones that have great reviews but to be honest most of the japanese sellers on ebay their reviews are very very good um I bought from quite a few different sellers and they've all been perfect um even the mandarake like oh i can't even see it no more um but like when i bought from mandarake and i've got um love monster and this series which you guys seen in my last manga haul um this came in absolute fab condition it was just a bit smelly oh that smell but um yeah i'm really excited to unbox and show you guys some of the volumes because wow like the way the seller packaged it my god this she is a1 or he is a1 yeah this ebay seller is phenomenal like how can you package a parcel so well and it's so perfect like how and it's also nicely bubble wrapped and that stuff like i feel like i need to join some workshops and that stuff to learn how to package things because this is this is insane like wow just the look of this parcel you know that everything came in excellent condition but i'm gonna open like the note as always and see what is inside definitely yeah it is from the same seller because i remember um the previous seller doing this last time as well and they gave me stickers i think last time they gave me some pokemon stickers that i have which i have here can you see this is from my pre previous parcel but yeah let's see what the seller has noted oh she gave me some dragon ball z stickers that's so cool so i got goku here and then sign here that is so cool um uh what to say um thank you so much if you look for any time please feel free to contact us this seller is definitely a one gotta say that for real um but yeah let's start unboxing i want to go by um the number order i think should we go by coffee and vanilla first so yeah i think i'll do this first so this is coffee and vanilla i remember when i went on holiday to japan like i think 2016 and the customer service like they do have a lot of plastic not gonna lie so i don't know how environmentally friendly that um their packaging is but i do know they do recycle like their recycling is is on another level i've never seen a country that recycles so much and also very efficient where they're recycling as well like everything has a special like container and box to 
put in but um yeah this oh, this is packaged so nicely so if you guys have been following me for a while now you know i have mentioned this series quite a few times as it is one of my guilty pleasure smut series that i do enjoy reading however i won't say it's the best series out there there are plenty other ones that are better but i think yeah this one just i don't know it has a special place in my heart in a weird way because i won't say the story is amazing or anything but it is quite a smutty series um and yeah like sometimes the main girl is kind of annoying but somehow i oversee that in a way i i, I don't know why but the main guy i love the main guy so much but yeah this series actually got adapted into i think a japanese drama but I do not recommend you guys to watch it it is absolute ass like it will make you cringe like hell i remember i think i watched the first couple episodes i don't even know how i survived with the first episode alone i think the first five minutes just just threw me off like i like the actor okay i like the main guy actor of coffee and vanilla in the japanese drama however not in coffee and vanilla this guy is proper like in his 30s but in the drama he looked like a baby he literally looked like 16 year old and i was like this is making me so uncomfortable so yeah if you do like the series i do not recommend you guys to watch the japanese drama uh i don't know what the directors were thinking in their head like to cast that actor because no it's not even the actor it's just the whole vibe of the drama like it just is proper cringe like it's it's, it's not good it's not good like i do not recommend you guys to watch it if you guys watch it well just know that i warned you guys but um yeah let me show you some volumes of coffee and vanilla so this is what the spines look like very very pretty and the condition is amazing as always smell test smells like normal and <sighs> i just can't believe it came in such an excellent condition but yeah so i picked up um all the current volumes that they have in japan this series is currently ongoing at the moment um i think i picked up like 16 volumes so yeah this is volume one and um the back as well i really like the size of japanese manga and also like that they have a sleeve so like if you take off the sleeve um the book actually has nothing on it so um let me show you actually i don't know if you guys know but this is what a typical book looks like without the sleeve and it's the sleeve that gives it that like mm, you know i'm gonna flick through some pages for you guys hopefully it is pg friendly if it's not i'll just add in like the um blurring effect but yeah this is what it looks like the art style is definitely very very pretty um but yeah oh oh okay there's just a bit of closeness okay i don't think i should go anymore because it might be a bit too much yeah but um the main girl is definitely very pretty so my camera just overheated and basically died and i don't know how much it has cut off so hopefully it didn't cut out too much but i was saying that the main girl is definitely very pretty in this series however she is kind of like you know the typical naive girl you know doesn't have a strong personality kind of let people bosses her around and that type of stuff i feel like she's that type of girl so it is off-putting in a way however i don't know this series just it just sucks me in in a way i think maybe it's because of the smut i have no idea but the main guy character is super dreamy but um yeah i have a few minutes left until my meeting but i don't think i should flip through any more pages as i feel like it will get steamy but um yeah this series is just oh, it's just so good and like i said it is an ongoing series so i'm not too sure when it's going to complete but yeah this is volume two of the cover and then volume three you can see how sweet the cover looks like it's definitely very very pretty by the way i don't believe this is a shoujo series this should be a jose since it has smut um but it is um published by flower comics so hmm i guess it might be a shoujo then but i'm pretty sure this is jose and then this is volume five like look at the cover art like how how are these people so gorgeous these two people are just 2d people but they look too good man um volume six but uh, yeah i really like the manga art style and volume seven and volume eight by the way i haven't showed you guys the back covers at the back there's nothing really much to show so um yeah volume eight 
volume 9 I believe yeah volume 9 and then volume 10 so that is what it looks like I do believe I picked up some spin-off series of um, coffee and vanilla and also like I said I am up to date with the series as I did pick up volume 16 but um, it looks like my meeting is about to start so I'm just gonna dash off and go to my meeting and then come back and show you the rest of the series and GTO and that but yeah this seller this seller is definitely amazing like I'm always so like gobsmacked when I get my parcels as every time it gets better and better like the packaging and that stuff um by the way I want to mention I did spend quite a bit of money on this like package as well I think I spent around just under 150 pounds so yeah it is expensive picking up Japanese manga I know some people say it's cheaper it is cheaper in the country but being someone that's overseas it is quite expensive I think how they do the pricing is that the manga is actually quite cheap itself secondhand in the country however on top of the shipping cost that you pay it adds up so for me I don't pay shipping however I know shipping cost is already included in the price of the manga itself because like you've seen in my um, video of Bai, you've seen like a lot of the manga is actually quite cheap and um, it's only the shipping that's the most expensive thing so I think that's what the seller has done where they added the shipping cost into the actual price so it's all included as I think that's a great like pricing technique for like buyers to buy manga but um, yeah so this parcel was not cheap but yeah I'm just gonna dash off to go to my meeting I'm so sorry if I talked a bit fast as I'm trying to get everything done I'm currently on my lunch break right now so sorry I know for certain people even with their mouth open is disgusting and it's like one of their pet peeves but for me like I, I, I don't mind it and that's why I chew like, I tend to do when it comes to eating I do make lots of noises but um yeah what was I saying yeah I just had lunch had my meeting had lunch and then now I'm back to filming this haul but yeah I was showing my mum how nicely packaged the um Japanese seller did for this um parcel and it's just oh, it's so nice but here looks like um the rest of the volumes of coffee and vanilla and some of its spin-off and also a volume oh it's the last volume of gto okay i'll save that volume for later when i show you the rest of the gto volume that i bought these volumes are in immaculate condition except from gto i think gto since it's such an old series that like it's bound to have some yellowing and that stuff and um, by the way these manga are second hand i believe i don't think the ebay sellers ever sell um brand new manga but um yeah these are all second hand and let me show you so let me put this one down i think yeah these are the two uh oh it's three volumes of spin-off one of them hmm why has it got a gap here oh <laughs> here's me thinking that i got manga and i got a spin-off of a novel like look at that <laughs> look at all that japanese writing oh god <laughs> um Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. I guess this volume will be helpful when it comes to me learning Japanese again. Um, if you don't know, I don't think I've actually mentioned it recently, but I'm currently putting my Japanese learning on hold. I haven't learned Japanese in a few months now, and it's just because I don't have enough time. And also I don't have the drive right now to learn a new language. I think once I go back to university, it will be a good opportunity for me to pick up Japanese again. And I'll probably pick up the actual um, lesson and that stuff in uni. So I remember in first year of uni, I did pick up a language and did that as a module and that, and I did Mandarin. Um, however, my Chinese Mandarin is awful. <laughs> even though I did study Mandarin at uni and I did do well in it, not gonna lie, I don't even remember a single thing. I, I don't even know how I got a good grade, but I, I don't even remember a single word in Mandarin or anything. Um, but I know Japanese is definitely one of the hardest language to learn as there's just so many sounds that sound so similar but has different meaning and there's just so much kanji. And then when you add the katakana and hiragana, it can mean something else. So, um, and also the way you say it's different. So it is a complicated language that I do need to put like my all with it but since i never really studied the language properly um yeah it's just not going so well but i just love the japanese manga and um yeah definitely i will be reading all my japanese manga once i like proper study it so i might take 
a series or two to uni with me once I start learning the language properly and since I'll be learning it in university I think that will just give me an extra push you know because at the end of the day I'm paying money right so the next volumes I have here of coffee and vanilla is volume 11 to volume 16 so these are the spines if you can see and then yeah let me show you the covers so this is volume 11 volume 12 definitely from the front covers you can see the art style is just stunning and yeah for me i am guilty of picking up manga because of the way the cover looks like it's just so pretty um but yeah oh this volume is very very slim compared to the other ones and this is volume 13 volume 14 volume 15 look at that Ooh. Do they get married in volume 15? Volume 16, I think probably volume 17 is already out by now in Japan but um, this is the most recent volume that I have and yeah I can't wait to continue collecting this and oh I just turned into um, I'll say a saucy page but not really they're just in bed nothing's really showing but um, yeah that is volume 16 um, but yeah I want to read the synopsis for you guys so you guys can know more about coffee and vanilla but definitely there are other better series like smut series out there however this series just it just has a special place in my heart so um oh it's very short on my anime list but on my anime list the synopsis is Risa is a woman who looks flashy at a glance, but the truth is that she's not used to men. This is a love story that begins when she meets a handsome salaryman. And you can tell the main guy is handsome, you know? But yeah, that is all the volumes for um, Coffee and Vanilla. So for the other volumes that I got of Coffee and Vanilla, I got Coffee and Vanilla Black and Coffee and Vanilla Sweet. And this is the sweet one. And I'll flip through some pages for you guys. Ooh, is that saucy oh oh it's going to be saucy okay i won't flick anymore but yeah the art style is definitely very very pretty and then the back and then i'll put this here so this is coffee and vanilla black and then i'm just gonna show you this page because earlier i was showing you the other pages but it was just it was just too much for the tube you know but um yeah that is coffee and vanilla black and then i showed you with this one looks like it's a novel it does have certain um scenes however the rest is all like written as you can see so um yeah i guess this will be a great practice for me to pick up my kanji and just try to understand what is going on but most likely this is going to take me forever to read as when, I, when it comes to reading Japanese, I do tend to read very, very, very slow. On to GTO. So let me try to find where's the first volume. Okay, so this is the first volume and it goes up to volume 1 to 10. From the looks of the condition, um, the manga is evidently yellow but um that doesn't matter because this series like i said is super out of print in the uk and everywhere else when it comes to manga being yellow i'm not too fast especially for secondhand manga as um yeah even especially with this series actually because this series is literally out of print in english so um yeah i'm really glad to finally own gto in japanese and be able to read it this series is literally is so jokes um i actually grew up with gto i actually own the anime as well at home um but yeah this series got a bunch of goodness you know it's got a bit of etchy it's got jokes it's comedy it's just yeah it's a fab manga and i wish like um another english publisher to pick up um gto as it's such a classic manga and um yeah it's definitely an og series so these are what the spines look like and you can see the condition very evidently that is very yellow but um i'm not fussed with that oh this is a bit crinkled but this is what volume one looks like and the back definitely an awesome cover and just an awesome series in general let me flip through some pages for you guys so you can see the art style but definitely a very funny manga actually let me see if there's any furigana oh there's a whole cover art yeah there's furigana so yeah this is going to be quite easy to read for me so yeah those are some of the pages you can see it's a very very old manga there's quite some evident yellowing here at the top as well but yeah i'm not too bothered as long as it doesn't smell in it yeah it's fine volume two and the back i do appreciate when manga have like cover arts at the back <laughs> you can see a bit of butt cheeks here 
I'll read the synopsis once I finish showing you some of these volume cover arts. So volume four, volume five. Oh, it has, oh, that's so cool. They have English writing at the back. That's so awesome. Volume six. For some reason I thought they would put um, Japanese writing instead because this is a Japanese volume, it's not in English. But yeah, this is what volume six looks like. Volume seven. Definitely Onizuka is a G, man. He's gangster. And then um, volume eight. To be honest, from what I've seen of GTO with the English publishing from Toku Pop, I think I really prefer these covers because from my, what I can remember, I think GTO has like grey spines and the writer's in all red or something. But I'll insert a picture here of the English publishing from Toku Pop of GTO. This is volume 10 and the back. But yeah, these series are definitely selling for ridiculous price right now on eBay and everywhere else, you know, as a lot of our print series, people sell them at ridiculous price is but yeah let me know down below on your thoughts on people selling like manga for like stupid prices like i think i've seen like people sell manga for over a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds and in my head i'm like they're just books like there's no need to be going for that much price but um i guess people do see value because i know definitely some people have bought manga for um prices like that but um yeah okay these are going into 20s let me just I think this one should be the right one. Volume 11, volume 12, volume 13, volume 14, yeah, let me know down below which is your favourite cover art so far of GTO. Volume 15, volume 17, going back with the bit, this is volume 16. Volume 18 and 19. Oh, I really like this cover art. So these are what it looks like from the back. But yeah, I'm just gonna read the synopsis on my anime list for GTO. So my camera just died for the second time because it overheated and I'm not too sure why but yeah normally my camera dies because it's out of battery or something but I guess it's because the weather's just getting hotter nowadays. But yeah I was about to read the synopsis for you guys from my anime list so you guys can know more about GTO. But yeah let's go. Um, 22 year old Eikichi Onuzuka, pervert, former gang member and teacher. I think that sums up GTO very very well. Um, great teacher Onizuka follows the incredible, though often ridiculous, antics of the titular teacher as he attempts to outwit and win over the cunning class 3-4 that is determined to have him removed from the school. However, other obstacles present themselves throughout, including the frustrating, bolding vice principal Hiroshi Uchiyamada, old enemies from his biker days, and his own idiotic teaching methods. But Eikichi fights it all whilst trying to help his students. Romance fellow teacher Azusa Fuyutsuki and earn his self-proclaimed title. But um, yeah, that is the synopsis of GTO. I hope that sounds exciting. But yeah, it's got a bunch of ecchi, action, comedy, and it's a shonen series. And yeah, so I did pick up all 25 volumes of the series, so it is now complete in my collection. Let me know down below if you guys have been learning Japanese or if you have any Japanese manga in your collection, as I know some of you guys do collect some Japanese manga just for the aesthetics. This is volume 20, which it looks like he's eating a hamburger. <laughs> volume 21. You can see all the volumes are definitely stacking up very, very well. Um, volume 22, 23, volume 24, and then the last volume of GTO, volume 25. So yeah, that is all of GTO. Definitely very, very hefty set. So this is all 25 volumes of GTO, and I'm just gonna put it down because I know I'm such a klutz, so it will fall over. But, um, yeah, so the last series I bought that came with this parcel is another manga that is by the same manga as GTO by Fujisawa Toru. Um, it's called Aresugata Junjo Boy, and this is 
said on my anime list this is a comedy gender bender school and shonen series and this is complete as well as it only has four volumes and it only has 35 chapters but yeah so the synopsis on my anime list says story about a boy raised like a girl by his parents this in order to let him succeed in the family traditional theater where the male actor must act like a woman so don't really know much about the series from the synopsis but um yeah i'm intrigued to read about it but i definitely will take my time getting on to the series since i have so many other japanese manga that i want to reread these are what the volumes look like so volume one to four so this is what volume one looks like you can tell it's definitely a very old series even the art style is very um dated but yeah the back looks very familiar though um volume three and then the last volume, volume four. So yeah, that's Areskata Jinjo Boy. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in reading all that. But that is all the manga that I got from Japan. Um, I don't think I will pick up any Japanese manga anytime soon. Um, recently, I've been reading this Japanese manga that Manga Luna recommended me. And that's called Promise Cinderella. And it is published in English, however, over in Asia and Singapore. And um, it is a series that I'm currently very hooked on. However, since it's an ongoing series, I don't want to pick it all up um, at the moment since it will be shipped from Singapore. So um, I think I'll wait for it to be completed. Recently, I've been debating, shall I pick up Promise Cinderella in Japanese now? Or shall I wait for it to be complete, then pick up? Or wait for it to be fully published in English in Singapore and just pick up from there or wait for a US um, publisher to pick up the series but to be honest I don't think that is likely but yeah that is a current Japanese series that I've been enjoying loads so yeah I'll see whether I pick it up soon if not I'll just wait for it to be complete but so far it doesn't look like it's gonna complete anytime soon but i have to see but it is a series that i'm really enjoying that i recommend you guys to read to go check out promise cinderella um yeah i'm definitely very very hooked all thanks to manga luna all her recommendations and it's always like 10 out of 10 like all her series that she's recommended me that i've read that is just yeah it's really good so we have reached the end of this japanese manga haul like i said i only picked up coffee and vanilla and then gto and adesukata jinjo boy but yeah i don't think i'll pick up any more japanese manga anytime soon like i said i'll be going back to uni so i wouldn't have time to pick up any more japanese manga like i need to read a lot of the ones that I already own um, but yeah definitely they will help me with my Japanese learning process but yeah let me know down below if you pick up any like Japanese manga or you're learning the language or let me know any other languages that you're learning but I'm just trying to think is there anything else to update you guys um, I think earlier on I did say that I will be in London for a good month so I will be away however like I said I did take some days off so I will be trying to make as many videos as I can for you guys so you guys will still have a video every week um but yeah once i'm back i'm definitely filming my collection video and also organization video as by that time i would have opened all my hauls and unboxed everything so i'll be able to organize all my manga which i'm so excited and yeah just excited to show you guys all my manga man and just share the love of manga as well i am planning to do a giveaway very soon as well um so stay tuned for that um but yeah since i'll be in london hopefully i can um film more manga shopping videos I have thought of maybe like linking up with some of you guys from London if you guys think that would be awesome yeah maybe we can do a meet and greet or go coffee shop or even buy manga together I think that would be awesome but um yeah I need to look into that and that stuff but if you guys would like to do that do message me down below or DM me on Instagram because I'd love to do that since I'll be pretty much free once I'm in London as I'll be finishing my internship and that stuff but yeah just I can't wait man I can't wait to film all my hauls and just like have a great summer because I've been working so hard for the past year with my internship like it's time to celebrate you know I think before I end this video I'd like to say just a big thank you to all of you guys for supporting this channel like it just means so so much and I love how this platform I'm able to connect with you guys and just basically all of us talk about our passions for manga and just things that we enjoy and just basically have bants and jokes like i really love when i do premiere my videos and chat to you guys live that 
yeah that is always awesome i love all the jokes that goes on and that but yeah i hope you guys can continue to enjoy this channel even though when i go back to university in september i hope i'll be able to pump out like as much videos as i can and also stay connected with you guys as like you guys for real make my day um but yeah i hope you guys are well i'm gonna go back to work now so yeah have a great day have a great weekend if you like this video give this video a like and then comment and if you're new go for it go subscribe it's free but um yeah i can't wait for you guys to see my upcoming hauls especially with this haul where i show you guys everything that i bought from a wish list like there's so many exciting manga that i bought recently that i'm so excited to read as well as like i said i'll be finishing my internship soon so i'll have more time to read all the manga that i bought recently and just give you guys my opinion but yeah have a great day guys have a great weekend i'm gonna go now bye to the